Imagine you're walking through the East African Rift Valley, a region that stretches over 6,000 kilometers from Ethiopia to Mozambique. This location, considered the cradle of humanity, houses some of the oldest human fossils ever discovered in breathtaking landscapes. But while you admire the volcanic mountains and crystal clear lakes, something extraordinary is happening right beneath your feet. A colossal and invisible force is literally tearing the African continent in half. We're not talking about a process that will take millions of years to be noticed. We're talking about something that's happening right now, at this very moment. Space satellites can measure the continent moving apart a few millimeters each year, and devastating earthquakes are shaking entire communities. Scientists have just discovered concrete evidence of what's causing this continental division. It's not just tectonic plate movement as we previously thought. There's something much deeper and more powerful acting behind this separation. A gigantic structure that originates almost 3,000 kilometers deep, near Earth's core. Recently, researchers published a revolutionary study in Nature Geoscience Journal that completely changed our understanding of what's happening in Africa. They discovered unique chemical signatures in volcanic gases spread throughout the eastern and southern regions of the continent. These chemical signatures reveal something impressive. What they found goes beyond any theory we've ever had about continental rifts. It's a discovery that connects events happening on the surface with processes that began billions of years ago in the deepest interior of our planet. And the most frightening part of all this is that this force is intensifying. The most convincing evidence comes from a chemical element almost impossible to find on Earth's surface, helium-3. When geoscientists analyzed volcanic gas collected in Kenya, the Afar region in Ethiopia, the Red Sea, and even Malawi, all showed elevated levels of this rare substance. Helium-3 is like a fingerprint from Earth's deepest interior. This chemical element is preserved mainly in our planet's deep interior since its formation 4.5 billion years ago. Finding it in so many different locations, spread across thousands of kilometers, means only one thing. There's a common and deep source feeding all this volcanic activity. They're not several isolated hotspots as we thought. To better understand what's happening, imagine a giant lava lamp the size of a continent. You know how those hot wax bubbles slowly rise in the lamp? That's exactly what's happening beneath Africa. But with molten rock at temperatures over 1,300 degrees Celsius, 2,372 degrees Fahrenheit, this column of superheated material is rising from the core mantle boundary. When this ultra-hot rock reaches the lithosphere's base, it begins to spread laterally like a giant mushroom. This creates multiple smaller plumes that feed individual volcanoes, weaken the continental crust, and drive the entire separation process. It's as if Earth is being pushed both from above and below, but here's the part that should concern us. This process isn't slowing down. In fact, evidence suggests this superplume may have been active for tens of millions of years, and it may be connected to the breakup of previous supercontinents. What does this mean for Africa's future and for the millions of people living in the Rift region? Between late 2024 and early 2025, the region was rocked by an extraordinary seismic sequence. Hundreds of earthquakes shook the ground between two specific volcanoes, Fentale and Dauphin, both located dangerously close to the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. Several of these earthquakes exceeded magnitude 5, culminating in a devastating magnitude 5.7 earthquake. Satellite images revealed something even more alarming when this earthquake occurred. There was a magma intrusion, a situation where magma exits the magma chamber and moves horizontally underground. This magma intrusion was approximately 40 miles, 64 kilometers, long. It wasn't a small event. Monitoring stations measured significant displacements, with the capital itself moving several inches, several centimeters. Roads cracked, factories were damaged, and residents of the Afar and Amhara regions fled as the ground shook beneath their feet. On January 2nd this year, eyewitnesses near Dauphin Volcano reported explosions of steam and debris, consistent with phreatic eruptions, when groundwater instantly turns to steam due to rising heat from below. At Fentale Volcano, satellite images captured something even more extraordinary. A vast plume of methane gas was released into the atmosphere at the end of January. On February 14th, a magnitude 6 earthquake struck the region, one of the strongest ever recorded in the area. Tens of thousands of people were displaced, with reports of over 80,000 to 100,000 people evacuated for safety. 
Scientists suspect this underground magma migration happening northeast of Fintale is opening new vents, perhaps preparing the volcano for much more significant activity. When you connect this surface unrest to the deep processes revealed in the new study, the connection becomes frighteningly clear. These earthquakes and magma intrusions are not isolated events. They are the direct surface expression of this hidden superplume. The deep mantle is pushing upward, cracking the crust, forcing magma into underground dikes, and awakening volcanoes along the entire rift zone. This discovery redefines our understanding, because we previously debated whether East Africa's volcanism came from several local hotspots or from a single deep source. Now, geochemical evidence clearly shows it's a single deep plume that branches into multiple upwellings when approaching the surface. It's like a giant tree of molten rock growing from bottom to top. This explains why we see such widespread volcanic activity across the rift zone. Mount Niragongo, Mount Nyamurgira in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Oldoinyulingai in Tanzania, Erta Ale in Afar. This study goes even further by suggesting this large superplume isn't new. It may have been active for tens of millions of years. Africa's separation could basically be the modern continuation of plume-driven events that began when the Gondwana supercontinent broke apart. The East African Rift is part of a cycle of superplume activity that reshapes continents and oceans. But there's an even deeper connection to global mantle dynamics. This African superplume may be connected to another deep structure beneath the Pacific, the same region of the famous Pacific Ring of Fire. Through seismic tomography, which uses earthquake waves to create images of Earth's interior, scientists identified massive low shear velocity structures beneath Africa and the Pacific. These may be the largest structures in Earth's mantle, and they're anchoring plumes that have fueled hotspot volcanism around the world. Some geologists believe these gigantic mantle structures are basically semi-permanent fixtures at the core mantle boundary linked to mass extinctions and supercontinent cycles throughout Earth's history. For people living along the rift, this means earthquakes like the recent Ethiopian seismic swarm will continue. It means volcanoes like Fintale and Dofan must be monitored very closely. And it means the rift will continue spreading inch by inch, centimeter by centimeter, millimeter by millimeter, driven from below by this unstoppable deep force. When you breathe volcanic gases at a geothermal field in Kenya, though not recommended due to toxicity, you're literally breathing atoms that last saw daylight 4.5 billion years ago. It's an extraordinary connection between deep time and present danger. What we see in East Africa is a glimpse of Earth's future, with continents dividing, oceans being born, and landscapes transforming. It all begins with this rising plume of hot rock, a force so powerful it can split an entire continent. The next time you hear about earthquakes in Ethiopia's Afar region or strange volcanic unrest at Fintal Volcano, remember these aren't random tremors. They are the rumblings of a powerful force coming from very deep below and just reaching the surface. Basically, they're writing the next chapter for Africa and Earth's future. It's a humbling reminder that we live on a dynamic planet where forces that began billions of years ago still shape our world today. If you enjoyed discovering this incredible force that's literally reshaping a continent, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fascinating content about our extraordinary planet.